al-Bukhari and Muslim recorded on the authority of Zainab, daughter of Am Sulaimah, that her mother Am Sulaimah narrated. Am Sulaim, the wife of Abu Talha, came to Allah's messenger, blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, and said, O oh, Allah's messenger, verily Allah is not shy of telling you the truth. Is it necessary for a woman to take a bath after she has a wet dream? Nocturnal sexual discharge? The messenger of Allah, blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, answered, Yes, when she sees the liquid, M. Suleiman said, Messenger of Allah, does a woman have sexual dream? The Prophet, blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, said, Let your hand be covered with dust. In what way does her child resemble her? What is meant by liquid? In this hadith is that which results from sexual arousal. Sexual arousal leads to the release of a kind of discharge from two sexual glands. Each of them is located on the two labia. It releases a mucus-like discharge that spills into the vaginal orifice. This is the liquid that a woman sees when she has a wet dream. Sometimes, this liquid is followed by other discharges from the cervix. These discharges do not carry any fertilization substances. They are only sexual discharges. That is why Imam Muslim mentioned in his narration that Im Sulaima told Im Sulaim, Im Sulaim, you have brought shame to the women folk. This is because hiding such things is one of the habits of women, for it shows their strong desire for men, and Allah knows best.